channel. Uh, in preparation for getting the headlining back into the car, um, today I wanted to take the opportunity to clear out all the drain holes and the sunroof, which I know have caused a problem in the past because we've had some damage um, when I bought the car. Um, I believe that they were sorted out at the time, but always best to check yourself before you put your new headlining up. So um, this morning I'm going to be checking uh, each of the drain holes and making sure they're all clear. Okay, we're back at it. <clears throat> Before I get the sunroof, that's a lie. Before I get the headlining back in, there's a few things I need to do. One, I need to do a little bit more wiring at the front. Um, I need to get this um, a solar, basically like gland, onto the top of the car. So I'm going to be drilling through the roof of the car and running through this um, four core cable through. This will then connect to the um, ditch lights. So that was wired up last night, ready to go. That will feed through here. I've got a spare one, which I've blocked up at the moment. So that is going to the back of the car. Once that's run through and all is it tied in, that'll be the back done. I've also got to check the drains. So this is a little kit you get from Amazon, six quid. And actually it's this one I want. Um, so I'm gonna pop this down each of the four drains. So the two front ones I can do without removing the, um, the actual hoses, I'll show you. Um, but the rear ones, I need to pop off the zip ties and I'll re-zip tie them. But then I can try putting a little bit of um, water down there if I can get it down there. And then whiz this down there just to clean out any debris. So let's get to the car. Okay, so there are two, um, two drains at the front. So this is the one on the passenger side or the left-hand side in the UK. And then one over there, you can see as well. So they're the two that attach to these little hoses. I'll show you the hose, hang on. They attach to these hoses up here, look. There's one there, and there's one the other side. You can just about see over there. We've also got a couple at the back, which I'll show you later. So for the time being, what we're gonna do, we're gonna run a bit of water, water down. We'll try and get it. And we're gonna watch that one drain away. So as you can see, it's not draining the quickest. It does go, but it's not draining the quickest. So what I want to do is whiz this little cable down. Okay. So I'm going to try and do this whilst filming, which is decidedly difficult. Oops. There's not a lot of gross on that. try and do because my car is facing down and I'm too lazy to to move the car I'm gonna check these that they're not blocked by running a hose down there just to make sure that they are running running nice and clear that one so it needs to get me a little bit wet but not too bad that's all good so I will get a zip tie on that one like that okie dokie check the other side this one's got a little zip tie be careful not to Not to clip the actual hose. This one sounds a bit crusty. It might just be the hose material itself. That's free and clear. Okay. Keep it above my 
off the height where they get soaked. Yes, yeah, so that one's blocked. I would say, yeah, with a lot of crap. In fact, it's all just coming out, so I'm just going to get a bucket. I'm going to clear that one up properly. Pipe cleaner. If you don't, I mean, there's just so much crud in here. The upside is just very liquid, so uh, no dramas. So if I run it up that way now. So it still doesn't feel particularly free. It feels like it's wanna, it wants to force back. stuff coming out even now Can I get this? it's coming out quite freely at the bottom now so I think that's most of it so what I need to try and do is I mean have a look amount of stuff that came out. Look. All this, all that dirt and grows as a clean bucket beforehand. Oops. So much stuff in there. Right. I am gonna have a quick look and see if that's running completely freely. I reckon we're going to be reasonably, reasonably good to go, I think, on that. It is running out quite quickly. A bit crusty too. So although it actually drains fine, this one, it's still got this. Crunchiness to it. So I'm going to remove that one as well and have a quick look. Yeah, look at that clean.
There's very little feedback on that one, so that's pretty clean. Fine. So although it's crunchy, it's actually okay. So you can get back on. Fine. Okie dokie, so we now have three drains, freely running drains, sorry, front and back. So I've had them all off. I re zip them back up so I know that I've done them. Uh, so all four sides. Little wet patches. Never thought I'd be so happy to see little wet patches. But yeah, it's mostly pine needles. So uh, I, I don't live under any trees anymore. So these are pine needles that have been there for a while, I would imagine. So they're all out now, um, all sealed up, ready to go. So the sunroof is okay. Now I've just got to do those extra bits of wiring and then the headlining can go back on. Okay, so I've taken the, the leap and I've drilled a hole through in the roof. And now I'm gonna poke the cable through and then so I can flex this to the roof. We are ready for headlining. So I've got all the wiring done now. So all the looms are ready to, to accept the switch panel. So here, the switch panel. I've got um, earth set up. Sun is still plugged in at the moment. Um, I've got the main loom, ditch lights. I've got the spotlight loom that goes over this side because that goes to the front of the car because that actually goes to the starter battery. It's all tidied up, all the drains are sorted. This just hooks over the top like that. Uh, it goes all the way to the back, nice and tidy. That's all the way around. All this is tidy down the side. I'm not worried about putting the A-posts on yet, covering that up. So that's why that wiring's still there. That needs to get fed through the bulkhead. Um, but that doesn't uh, interfere with the headlining. Um, the, oh, the um, well, I what it's called now, the camera, the rear view mirror camera, um, that cable has all been tidied up back there as well because that's just hanging loose as well. So all four of the drains are fine. We've got the, um, the kind of like uh, the, the cut through gland um, is now mastic to the roof and the cable going through and connected to the ditch lights. And it's all nice and tidy up here. Just pops through the uh, um, insulation and again just tidies along to the, the cable, the existing loom is on here. Just need to cable it up. But that is it. It is ready for headlining. So uh, fingers crossed with that one. <laughs>